Welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Uh, last time we uh, have penetrated most of our way into the exchange. We beat the uh, defense droids. We beat the Gamorrean defenders. Uh, we gained a couple levels. Kraya picked up the second level of the slow power, which is really pretty useless. Atten picked up another level of the two you. weapons feat. So I'm actually going to have him using two weapons primarily. Um, and I'm also fairly effective with it. I'm going to stick with blaster pistols. Atten will you. stick with uh, actually having melee weapons because he has the finesse feat automatically. So, you know, he's not so bad with it. Let's talk with these Gamorrean boss here. And he more or less says that, uh, you know, he announces us and then runs love runs right. for it. And, oh look, more droids. Yay. Anyway, this destroy droid power is more or less force lightning Time plus uh, stun all in one power. Which, you know, you save it, unfortunately, but it's quite effective. And Slus tries to bargain. And he asks us what I want, and we want him to leave the Authorians alone. And he says, really? And Luxus shows. I may have had a hand in this, yes. And he says she was always ambitious. And, uh, okay, well, you know, I like the... He says that he doesn't think everybody's going to be leaving the room alive, and I don't think so either. But don't worry about Luxa, I'll be taking care of her soon enough. Not as soon as you might think. Yeah, because just to keep this fight interesting, we're going to do both sides of the fight at once. And that's probably maybe a little, little more dangerous than necessary. But horror works very well on Gamorreans, who have very poor um, saves against the uh, will, f very poor will saves. And these concealed turrets are, of course, just a bunch more droids. I'm actually going to use um, energy resistance first, though. Came from. Maybe Nar Shaddaa isn't such a good idea after all. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess we've pissed off the Exchange a little bit. The Exchange is one of the most powerful groups on the Smuggler's Moon. If this Goto wants you so badly, it'd probably be a good idea not to show up on his doorstep, wouldn't you say? Not to mention, I'm sure Lopak Slusk has friends on Nar Shaddaa that won't be happy to hear he's gone. Okay, well, you know, we've got to do what we can do with what we have. So. Yeah, you're right. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And, uh, we get a bunch of XP on top of the XP we get for just killing all those guys, and so I gained another level. So I'll clean up and gain my level off screen. That was a fairly nice level, actually, because it gave me Master 2 Weapon Fighting, which essentially removes all the penalties for fighting with two weapons, as long as you're using a balanced offhand weapon. And it also gave me Night Speed, which gives an extra attack, which is basically the, the, the major benefit of using the speed powers is the extra attacks. And improved energy resistance, which decreases all um, energy damage I take by 12, which really, I mean, that will stop most blaster fire. It also affects the whole party. Previously, it was just affecting me and Kraya. Still, you know, very handy. Let's look at the security terminal. Use our computer skill, and look at the camera controls. There's all holding cells. Hmm. Hey, they've got an Athorian captive. Let's just re release him. And he makes a run for it. And that gets us some light side points. And I have a feeling that the guards out here aren't going to be too happy about the Athorian running away, but we'll see what happens. Well, I guess they left. Not much to see here. Please don't kill me. I'm only doing my job. Oh, the receptionist hasn't left. Okay, well, you know, we'll leave her alone. I mean, you can get some dark side points. That was our mission from our Ithorian friends, was to get the exchange off their back, so let's go talk to them again. And he asks if 
if our meeting went, went well. And, um, we can say the exchange will trouble him no longer. And he senses the meeting did not go peacefully, and he's sad about that. And, uh, he gives us a lightsaber part. And, uh, you can ask him. You can actually try to refuse the gift. And, uh, you know, more or less that they, they need us to disrupt Zerka's operation. And, uh, to provide evidence of corruption. And, uh, you know, more or less they're saying it can't be sliced remotely, so we need to get inside. And, we taught, he more or less says there's an employee that might help us. We can deny we're a Jedi again. And, uh, he tells us more or less to go talk to the guy in the cantina. So we'll have to go talk to him. But before we do that, there's some side quest stuff I want to do down here in the residential model. And, uh, it's on the east side. First things first, let's go talk to Zerka and see um, if we can ask them about these um, runaway fugitives. Good day, I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? And uh, he called us earlier, so we'll ask about that. I was attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. If you would like to speak with her, you will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Okay. Well, we'll talk to her. We have to talk to her about Batona. I am sorry, but I do not know. I am only her administrative assistant. If you wish to speak with her, Executive Lorso is available at this moment. Can I help you with anything else? Okay. And you can ask about Zerka, and he more or less tells you that they're, you know, the epitome of evil corporations. Uh, though I'm sure he does not use those actual words. Hmm, quite a few mercenaries hanging around here. Another utility droid. Who are these guys? Hmm, a Rodian and a Deveronian. I wonder... I will arrange transport to one of the restoration zones on the planet's surface. You will be safe from the TSF there. And more or less they're hiding. For the services you have offered to Zerka, you will also be reimbursed. I trust that is an agreeable arrangement. And he says yes, more or less. And he's eager to get on a shuttle and get out of here. Of course. I will instruct the commander to await your arrival. And, wait, they're the criminals you're looking for. And he says, that's our cue to get out of here. Exit stage left! And, um, should we chase them? Um, no, I guess we're just gonna let them go. I don't know, you know, could use some force speed and catch up, but, nah, that would be too useful. Well, let's ask Lorso about Batono. I simply do not have time for you. My hands are full with trying to manage the restoration and project apparently she without the aid of the droid, droid intelligence, intelligence, which you so kindly gifted to the Athorians. If there is nothing else, I would prefer it if you left our premises. Okay, we can ask her about Batono. Batono? Of course. He was one of our former employees. Let me tell you something. There are far too many like him. Do-gooders who believe that because of the things Zerka must do to remain successful and profitable, we must be evil. They do not see the impracticality of their beliefs. They do not understand the realities of the galaxy. If certain funds must be paid, then Zerka will gladly pay. If competitors removed, then Zerka will do its part to forward progress. Batono could not see this. Before leaving our employ, he stole many of our records, then began to stalk our movements on the station. Harassment, but conveniently overlooked, sanctioned, perhaps, by the Telosian authorities. Okay. And, uh, any idea where he is? I'm curious, though, as to why you are looking for him. Well, you know, I'm just looking for him. I see. Well, I suspect he's putting his nose into something or another. People like him can't mind their own business. Always needing to pry into matters that don't concern them. I do know he spent some time in the company of the Athorians. I assumed that was the reason for his efforts. That he thought by inventing stories of Zerka's evil, he could put Chodo Habat and his incapable assistants in charge. But if you are searching for him, and find him, there would be a reward for any information of his whereabouts. Um, okay. Well, you know, 
We'll see if we find any truth to his accusations. If your conscience demands it, then by all means. Just remember, a reward is waiting for you. Okay. Looking at our journal here, we have more information essentially on these TC TSF bounties and also on the false Batu. So we're going to have to talk to Lieutenant Grant about that stuff eventually. But for now, I think our primary objective is to go talk to that guy in the cantina about the disgruntled Zerka employee about infiltrating Zerka, because we're obviously not getting anywhere uh, just right here. I mean, I guess we could just start blasting, but that probably wouldn't help the authorities. Anyway, we're out of time for this episode. See you next time.